So in the last video we have seen how to uh, create this file which is servlet.xml file. Now you can see we are getting some error here and the error is because of this double quotes. So let me change this double quote to a proper double quotes because I have copied this from my other file. Uh, it was there was some error. So make sure you have the proper double quotes format there. And you can see we are not we are we we have resolved that error. Now even if you run this, there might be some error. Let me check what's the error. So if I say finish run, it will take some time to load. And okay, let me close all the other files. And if I expand this, let's say seven and six. If I say submit, uh, okay, it's again have given me the error which is 404. So whenever you see 404, it is actually file not found and it's not able to map the HTTP request with the URI. The problem is whenever you call add, how would you, your application knows which method to call? So in order to make this as a controller, we have to use some sort of annotations. So we have to use annotation here which is controller. Okay, so we have to use a controller annotation which defines that this is a controller and you need to also mention the request for which request you are executing this method and to specify every time you call add you need to execute this method we have to say uh, we need to use an annotation which is called as request mapping annotation and this request mapping annotation we have to mention in double quotes will mention for add request you have to call this method called as add we don't have to make sure we don't have to uh, have the same name add and add you can have any name provided you're calling that particular name here a url and now if you run this i think we need to restart the server server restart it will take some time And let's try this once again. If I say run this, uh, okay, so we got something and we got an error. So it is something with the view resolver, that's a different thing. But what we wanted is to print I am here, right? We got something. So since we are printing I am here, we got I am here. Simple. So that's how you can map your application from a HTML page or a JSP page to a controller. But hold on, we don't want to show the output on the console. We want to show the output on the JSP page or the page, right? So for that, what we need, we need to call a page here. Now how to call a page? To call a page, first you have to create a page. So let's create a page and we'll name this page as, we'll say this page as uh, maybe display.jsp. Okay, let's make this this small. So we got a page here which is display.jsp. In this page, let me print, uh, I am here. That's it, I'm, print, I'm printing I am here. Now how to call this page? Now in order to call this page, you can what you can simply do is, instead of returning a void, we can mention I'm returning a string, okay? And here we have to say return, and you have, you have to mention the name of the file, which is display.jsp. So this will call display.jsp. Okay, so whenever you call add, it will call display.jsp. Let's run this and boom. So you got a page which is display.jsp and you, you, you can see it written, I'm here. Now the amazing thing about this is, even if you're passing numbers, we are not accepting those numbers. But instead of uh, printing here, add dot or something, what you say, display.jsp, we are printing add. So we are actually hiding which type, what type of technology we are using. But we don't want this output. We want to add two numbers. Right? And how to, how to add that two numbers, we'll see in the next part.